right, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to put your kids away for this video. Hide your kids, hide your wives, you know what I mean, right? Because apparently we had the Mr. B situation. That drama is still raging wildfires right now, but we also had the Sneeko and Moist Critical situation. That happened just a few days ago, but Charlie Moist Critical, Penguin Z, aka Charlie, aka Moist Critical, aka Penguin Z, has responded. Bruh. And the situation is still raging wildfires. Like the video if you think that it's not okay for kids to cut their PP when they're nine years old. Dislike the video if you think that is, because that's what Moist Critical said, and he's getting a ton of backlash for it. And apparently, he has now responded, and we're gonna actually take a look at that, man. This is blowing up right now. And, and this happened for context, okay? I wanna play you this. So this is what Moist Critical said just the other day when he was debating Sneeko roll it. Do you believe that somebody can go through uh, hormone therapy? Can they change their gender if they're a child? I think that's totally fine as long as everyone is consenting. <laughs> as you agree with. Okay, so as long as everyone- your parents are okay with it and you are okay with it, I am. I think that's totally a familiar decision to make, yeah. Okay, so a child can cut their penis off and take hormone blockers Ooh. and change their biology forever, but they can't get married? So that's a decision that now extends beyond the family because now you're bringing in a different party so if you have someone that's your age coming in saying i want to marry that child i yep i don't think that can happen under any circumstance so you, no. but it's still a personal decision you're still deciding it's it's, it's but still, no, but it's, no it, because there's take a, the other party out of the equation it's a personal it's decision not. if i'm or if i'm 16 and i personally want to marry this girl she's beautiful she's 21 years old her family wants to do it my family wants to do it you're saying i can't do that we're both consenting, I'm ready to go, I'm physically mature, but I'm not allowed to marry because Moy says that's, that woman's a pedophile. But if then, the next day I leave it, I'm depressed, I wanna cut my penis off. I can go right into the clinic, snip it off, and start taking HRT like Chris Tyson. That's Damn. a society that makes sense to you? Damn. It is. Uh, I believe yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 time on, time on, bro. Pump the brakes. This is something I'm not the one saying it. Charlie himself said it. And he pumped the brakes real quick after this one. And he is now backtracking. And this is what he said. And people going crazy right now. Sneeko said he misunderstood perfectly. He understood perfectly, my bad. Uh, he misunderstood his audience. He also has yet to upload this video as he said he would. Uh, Stan Price says that all I want from commentary YouTubers is to believe the words they are actually saying. Not say what they think they should be saying because uh, he responded to his uh, uh, backtracking. So check this out. So this is what he says afterwards. Roll it. And now Wait I give a perspective on something that immediately gets misconstrued. And I do recognize a lot of it's my fault. I assumed that Sneeko was talking in hyperbole about a nine-year-old getting their dick cut off because I didn't have the assumption that anyone thought that's a, that that is how transitioning works. There is, under no circumstances, any legality behind a kid saying, I want to change genders, and then immediately going in and getting their dick cut off. That doesn't happen. I thought he was just talking in hyperbole. Obviously, no one says that's good. That's not at all what I was fucking saying. I thought he was talking about the overall point of a child transitioning, which is years-long process. And you can't even get that fucking surgery legally until you are 18. Like, I didn't think... Uh, uh, apparently you can. You, you can uh, at 16, 15, and some get it even younger than that. Or the process can also start younger than that. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get into that. The cluttering also went crazy on this one. I will play you that clip, but it is true, you can get it. But he's backtracking right now. But one thing that I want to point out, I feel like that Mike had a very, very good take here. I would hate to live in a world where you cannot change takes, opinions, so I'll take his word for it. It's clear that a lot of people are not buying, even I'm not buying what Charlie's saying. He's backtracking. But what this gentleman Mike is saying, I agree with this one because I also feel like that people can change their opinions. We can all learn and grow. We can all grow. We can all uh, see the light someday, maybe. And maybe that day was today for Moist Critical. He saw the light. He saw the light and he changed his opinion. Maybe that's true, but it doesn't feel like it. That's why people are going crazy. Check this out. So this is what happened after the fact as well. Roll it. What's on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quarter with a bit of an update from the Moist Critical backlash that's going on on the internet. As of right now, he started deleting his VODs because so many people are raiding his chat, being yeah. extremely rough on him. And, uh, you know, some may say that that's warranted, but what I would prefer to do is to uh, educate and offer some some context as to like why people are, are mad. 
why people reacted yeah. the way that they did yeah. to the things that he says because I don't think Charlie's ever faced any real backlash before true, true, in his true. life. And you know, I think his product is very well received. He's a massive yeah. YouTuber, content creator, much larger than I could ever dream of, and he'll not, you know, and he'll always be a bigger creator than I. Um, but he also yeah. generally is a pretty um, he doesn't take a lot of risks. Um, you know, his videos generally just read the room and then re regurgitate that. Yeah, he, he just reports the news, react to it, give his uh, take on it. And most of the time, I mean, generally speaking, right, he has that dry kind of humor, which is spot on and uh, suck as love it, suck as love it, right? Like even I like it. So dry humor, uh, news, react and just like just uh, say and just joking around about it which is uh pretty fun pretty fun so message and that's okay there's always room for people like that that, yeah. that do that um this is one of the few times that he misread the room and uh, he's made some wild claims that i want to address first of first first and foremost he's claimed that hardly anybody under the age of 18 has any kind of surgeries or blockers which is yeah. insanely wrong uh -oh. i want to provide some evidence so it's not just me yelling at yeah. him um he has said that it's illegal to get these surgeries before the age of 18. he has repeated this lie multiple times his viewers it's just simply not true I will also show proof of that. And I also want to point out that, no, I don't think it's okay. You know, a lot of people want to, I think both of these individuals took L's here. Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. I think that one is like an ideological religious argument with Sneeko. And I don't know that I can, I'm equipped to argue against that. If you want to say a 25 year old should be marrying a 12 year old, I'm going to disagree with you. Oh, um, I know that it happens. Absolutely. But but here's the thing though, Sneeko, I might be, listen guys, like I might be getting this wrong, but I did not hear Sneeko say, 25 year old marrying like 12 year old he did say 16 uh, years old can marry 16 year old 16 year old can marry 20 16 year old can marry 21 uh, yeah he did say that he took an L don't don't, don't get me wrong but but he I, I have not heard him say 25 year old marrying a 12 year old actually so it's all around the world I know it's in the, in the Muslim faith this is not seen as taboo um, but I can only share my opinion that somebody yeah. who's 12 yeah, yeah. just like they shouldn't be gender transitioning they should also not be marrying adults uh, but 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 here's the thing though it is true that in islam right like in islam you can uh there is no like specific age given for uh, but you have to follow the law of the, the the land right this is what sneeko didn't mention if he mentioned that he wouldn't be taking the l what this means is that you you gotta in islam you gotta marry somebody that's uh physically mature uh mentally mature right and also you gotta follow the law of the land this is something that is that is known right and even here with a simple google search it would say it, and then it leaves it for the legal authorities which means that if in your country the minimum age is like what uh, 16 you can marry at a 16 year old if it's 18 generally speaking in north america it's like 16 to 18 so you can marry around that that's like you know you need to follow that law now hundreds of years ago thousands of years ago the laws were different so you know like as we're marrying young the people were marrying super young some people were not but all over the world people were it's true though like people were marrying young but what sneeko is not getting here is that those were different times man today it's different times and the craziest thing here is that i didn't know about it till like one of you actually pointed this out to me in japan you could have married all i believe all the way back in 2015 till 2015 you could have married a 14 year old oh, shit. Oh, shit. it's crazy bro it is crazy but see like hundreds of years ago that wasn't crazy that was now it is because i mean different times man we gotta get with the different times it's different times and you gotta follow uh, i mean islamically you, you gotta follow the law of the land right and it's gonna be true for example like hundreds of years from now right like if the i i i, I can see them changing the the marriage age right like for now generally speaking it's 16 18 maybe hundreds of years, hundreds of years from now it's gonna be like 20 25 so then you gotta follow that rule there's been if sneeko if sneeko mentioned that part he's a new reword so i yeah he probably don't know everything but if he if he just mentioned you gotta follow the law of the land i think he wouldn't have taken that big of an l because sneeko took an l but moist critical took a bigger l by saying it's perfectly fine for kids to actually cut their pp right and yeah bro this is why we're having this drama and now uh, he's backtracking as well but wait for it significant amount of backlash so i just want to address that i'm not agreeing with what sneeko said i think that it's that's wild um yeah however yeah, yeah. he has now begun some level of backtracking and it's not going well and again i apologize it seems like all these like gen z cool kids um feel like they have to swear every other word i generally try to keep my channel uh family friendly this video i mean goes out to most critical and hopefully his fans and viewers to try and provide you some evidence First, I want to show you where he makes the claim, and then I also want to show you where this is just verifiably untrue. Okay. And now I give a perspective on something that immediately gets misconstrued, and I do recognize a lot of it's my fault. I just okay, that's fine. Now, what he's trying to do in this video is pretend like he didn't understand that Sneeko was making a comparison that everyone knew he was making. The comparison was, hey, you believe that people who are young should be able to make life-altering decisions about their body, like going on 
um, puberty blockers or having surgeries. So why can't they then marry? I think that's mm. actually a fair question. I mm. think the answer mm. is no to both. Yeah, okay? yeah. It's no to both, bro. It is no to both. We're living, we're not living in, like in the 1900s, the 1800s, the 1600s, the 1200s. We gotta follow what's legal now, legally and uh, I guess religiously as well, right? Like you gotta follow the law of the land. And, and you know what's crazy is that like, to, I, I also do believe that an 18 year old today is not even ready though. You know, when I was 18, I was dumb. I'm still dumb though. I'm still dumb though, and I'm about to be 28. But when, I remember when I was 18, of course, it does not apply to everybody. Some people mature faster than other. It's true. But see, like, we need to have a number. We need to have a law in place, right? It's the law. You gotta follow it, right? Because uh, if you don't have rules, then people become animals. You know, simple as that. You need the rules. Uh, and, and what Sneeko is not getting it, it what Sneeko is not getting is that you need to follow the law of the land and also we're not living like uh, in 1600s or the thousands right you gotta follow the current time and, and there are a lot of different factors right like inflation and let's just talk about the financial situation the money situation the money my friend right y you really think that a 16 year old and 18 year old of course exceptions uh, can happen okay but but generally speaking generally most 16 year old bro like they're not they're not even making anything bro like they're making like what like they're not making enough money okay they don't even have good jobs they're they're in schools and all that right college maybe even so yeah it's uh it's way too young man it's way too young especially for for current times the answer is no to both um now so moist critical or charlie believes he can worm out of this by saying well i didn't understand he was just talking about chopping this off or chopping that off Charlie completely understood the question. He knew exactly what he was asking about. This is something that Charlie has talked about multiple times about transition stuff. Um, and again, once you're 18, you can do whatever you want. All right. I think everyone should agree on that. Uh, if you can go fight in a war, then you can get your yeah. zipper chest installed. I don't care. All right. Uh, yeah, but yeah. he's spreading. Yeah. What, what's crazy to me here is that like these like is, uh believe in two more than two genders, but they cannot believe in two different opinions. I feel like that if you believe in 5,000 genders, hey, that's yeah, I don't believe that, but you believe it. I got no problem with it. Yeah, you go, <laughs> you do you, boo boo. You can believe into that. You can be feel like an attack chopper. That's cool with me. If that makes you happy, that makes you happy, man. And I'm happy for you. But but see, like all we're saying here is that just <laughs> leave the kids out of it, man. Leave the kids out of it. You're trying to install Windows uh, 18 in their brain when they're nine years old, and Windows 18 don't exist right now, okay? <laughs> it don't exist right Bruh. now. Stop installing Windows 18 into the kid's mind when they're not capable of even having Windows 2 installed in their brain, okay? You feel uh, metaphorically. I'm speaking metaphorically. Those of you who get it, you get it. If you get it, you get it. You get it. Let them learn their ABCDs. Let them learn their one two threes and just play around and just be kids man like let them just enjoy uh them being kids essentially leave them some dangerous there. he's minimizing a very real problem in this country and that is the big pharma the profiteering that's going off uh going after these youths and it's convincing their parents that you know turning their kids into lifelong medical patients assumed that sneeko was talking in hyperbole about a nine-year-old getting their dick cut because <clears> i didn't have the assumption that anyone thought that's a, that that is how transitioning works there is, under no circumstances, any legality behind a kid saying, I want to change genders, and then immediately going in and getting their dick cut off. That doesn't happen. It actually does. Um, it happens a lot. It happens, and I will show you just yeah. how many times it happens. It is so common that I know you've heard of Jazz Jennings, right? This is somebody who is a teenager who had uh, life-altering surgery before they were the age of 18. And I will also later show you videos from hospitals recruiting patients as young as 12 to have these Crazy, type of surgeries. Man. Hospitals in America. Dog, like, when I was 12-year-old, bro, like, I was like, ah, ee. I would accept a chocolate as a bribery, bro. Bruh. You know, could you imagine like a kid, a kid comes to you and it's like, I want to be a T-Rex. I want to, and the parent is like, yeah, man, let's go to the clinic. Let's chop your arms and let's put those plastic T-Rex arms on. Holy crap, bro. Of course, like a kid has fantasies. Of course, uh, like kid watches Scooby-Doo and all of a sudden he want to be like Shaggy or, you know, like Scooby-Doo actually, right? Like it doesn't mean that you go ahead and do like medical procedures. Bro, what, what, what is going on in this world, man? Like this is absolute insanity absolute insanity man and in this video you know uh nick marks also went crazy because moist critical was also given example like you go uh, you go play sports or something like that right you change he was comparing like medical surgeries to sports like just like how you go play a sport it's like that you know you go ahead and do surgeries Bruh. and nick marks went crazy over that he's like nah bro you go play a sport you come back 
nothing changes. But once you cut your PP off, everything changes. You cannot glue it back on. I, I don't know how like Penguin Z is not understanding. I guess now he's understanding, or maybe he's just simply backtracking. I want to know where you guys at with it, but wait for it. Erica. I thought he was just talking in hyperbole. Obviously, no one says that's good. That's not at all what I was fucking saying. It absolutely was what he was saying, but he's allowed to change his mind. Yeah, if yeah, yeah. Charlie's yeah. opinion now is that having any type of surgeries under the age of 18 is wrong, then he's halfway there. They yeah, should not. Yeah. They should also not be having puberty blockers. We now know that you know we're seeing many hospitals having bans on giving these to youths because, of course, the lifelong effects that many people like Charlie and others have spread. Uh, I, I could be wrong, but I was reading this that Europe, Europe out of everybody is blocking. They are banning the ability for kids under 18 to consume uh, puberty blockers, which is a massive W, man. So. Yeah, uh, if you're a parent watching or if you're generally against this, uh, it's a big win, man. We gotta keep voicing our opinions because let's be real, man, it's life altering. It is life altering because, you know, if you're going to play a sport and let's just say the, the, the worst, what's the worst thing that could happen, right? I, of course, you can pass away, some bad can happen, but the second worst thing would be like you breaking a bone injury, which can heal. This, once you're consuming that chemical and it's going into your body, it's life altering. For example, like at the age of 12, 16, maybe even, you're thinking, right, I am a, an attack, attack chopper, or you having like, you know, thoughts like that where you want to change your gender. Okay, at that age you are having, but what if like at 24, you don't feel that way? Because let me tell you, man, opinions change, bro. We all get, we all grow scientifically proven we keep uh our brain keep evolving till the age of 25 that's not my opinion that's bi biology scientifically proven our brains are growing till around 25 I, I would like to even say that some people might still grow till like 26 27 or some might finish growing till like 22 23 something like that but the number that's given is around 25 scientifically proven not my opinion so people do evolve, people do change, uh, we all have different opinions, we all gonna have like different opinions, uh, our opinion, we're gonna change, we're gonna learn, and we're gonna grow, right? So you think that a person that's believing they're uh, like all this, like, hey, I wanna be an attack chopper at the age of 16, you think that they're gonna still believe that when they're at the age of 24? That's what I'm saying, man, like, they should, ki let kids be kids, let's not give them all this crap, like, come on now, man, they, they need to... They need to make it illegal, man. And in some uh, countries, it's uh, it's becoming illegal, which is good. So that's progress. As lies that they wouldn't have, but of course they had them. Can't just pause puberty and then turn it back on whenever you want. It, the idea that you could do that was absolute lunacy. Bordering on the line of, of pseudoscience, but practically not even bordering on it, okay? So he's getting absolutely cooked. <coughs> he understood the question. He misunderstood his audience. Pretty simple stuff. Bad take is a bad take. You either backtrack it or reclarify which you actually meant, with our, which are both good. Sticking with the bad take is the third worst option, which is what he's done. People saying he 100% understood the question because that question gets asked a lot. And the answer he initially gave is the an answer that the left uses. So no, he did not misunderstand anything. He's just panicking and is confused since he's never been put in this situation before. And I sympathize with that. Um, maybe, you know, the first time true, I was yeah. getting massive backlash, it wasn't from my own audience, but it was from an outside source. And I didn't know how to react to it either. You can see he has now started panic deleting, right? He's now deleting the last two VODs because people are in the chat giving him a bunch of backlash. You can see six hours ago, yesterday's stream chat was a disaster and was raided by Sneeko fan and transphobes yelling insults at Charlie. Can we work on that next time? So they're asking for more censorship in the chat. Damn. Um, you, know, you see, I feel bad for Charlie. He should have been prepared. And yes, he didn't want to say it. Sneeko fan said he did. You know, I don't think Charlie would want that. As bad as the comments are, Charlie's usually pretty vocal about banning or deleting messages just because he doesn't like what he's saying. So that's good. Okay, you know, his, his subreddit wants can't, you know, it to be silenced. Nobody's really surprised by that. Here's yet another clip where he's trying right, his best. He's trying to really stick to his position. You know, um, he is coming around. Yeah, he effed up, but right now he's coming around. He's, uh, uh, um, but here's the thing though, we don't know if he's like genuinely learning and growing from it. If he's genuinely learning and growing for it, that's for from it, that's good. But if he's just like backtracking because a lot of people are going crazy at him for this take, then of course, like that's that's different. Then, you know, he's trying to say like here he is the desperately requested clip of him saying that minors getting surgery is not okay. Posted two days ago, he literally explains everything in the chat and continues to ask the same things and comment the same stuff. The chat continues, okay? So he's getting frustrated with his chat because he feels like they're ascribing a position to him that he doesn't have. Now, we do know for an absolute fact, he referred to children transitioning as simple as picking a sport. He also said they should yeah. be able to transition if the parents agree. Do you believe that somebody can go through uh, hormone therapy? Can they change their gender if they're a child? I think that's totally fine as long as everyone is. So again, he's halfway there. So he's backtracking and saying, hey, the surgeries aren't good anymore. 
they're not legal, they're not happening, I'm going to disprove both of those things. But at least he's saying they shouldn't have surgeries. I would argue that these gender, these um, puberty blockers are nearly as yeah. bad, they uh, are just as bad, and minors shouldn't be taking them either. Well, absolutely, bro, like, it's life-altering chemicals that you're putting in your body. Yeah, right? like, what are we talking about, bro? What are we talking about, man? Like, that's that's not good. Of course that's not good. They need to, like, collectively, worldwide, there should be a ban. Uh, I would say 18. I would even go as far as to say, like, because scientifically proven, the brain keeps on growing till the age of 25, right? It should be 25 minimum. That's what I would say. But but I would say 18 is better than, let's just say, 9-year-old and 12-year-old, right? Like, we, we, gotta, we gotta have a boundary. I believe, like, in some states, uh, some countries, the legal age of drinking is 21. I'm not recommending people drink, but hey, if you wanna drink, you wanna drink, go for it, right? Uh, so I'm nobody to tell you what to do uh, with your life, right? But 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 I, uh, the age is 21, 18 or 21. It depends on what country you are. Again, you gotta follow the law of your country as well. But I believe it's 21 in the U.S. Could be wrong. I'm in Canada. So 21, right? We point is that we have legal age for marriage. We have consenting age as well. Legal consenting age. We have driving. I mean, simple as driving, bro. Bruh. Right? Like you cannot drive at a certain age. You gotta be at a certain of a certain age to be able to drive to have tattoos and all that why can't we have a specific age for this i would say 25 but okay 18 is better than 12 years old 18 is better than nine years old absolutely and i will happily show him evidence as to why that you can look at it the reason oh. i'm so on top of this topic is because trans the the big trans right the trans industry is growing and yes there are absolutely unequivocally people with gender dysphoria there i am not denying that it exists However, I will also tell you um, that it is acting as a social contagion right now. There are far more people um, that are identifying as trans than ever before. Yeah. Gender affirming surgeries alone. Yeah, the, the craziest thing here is that uh, 20 years ago, we didn't have this issue. Something is happening in schools nowadays, right? That is uh, getting these young bucks, uh, young kids' uh, mind altered. Maybe their program. Yeah, it's indoctrinating the kids, right? So something is happening in school. So you got to be very, very mindful if you're a parent watching or up and coming parent or soon to be a parent uh, or you want to be a parent one day. Man, you got to be mindful about what's going on in schools, man, because it's crazy. Because uh, 20 years ago, we didn't have any of that, man. Now it's uh, you got to think about this, man. Uh, you got to think about this way. We never had this issue the way we are. We're having this issue now versus uh 20 years ago right from all of humans history like we have been around for thousands of years and we never had this issue yes uh, some people are born different some uh people are maybe genuinely having these uh, issues but we're not talking about those people we're talking about what's being taught in school now uh, and it's different versus 20 years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and uh, we're seeing the percentage, it's climbing, it's like multiplying real quick, and it was never like that. Normally the line, the graph would go like this, but now the graph is going like this, it's spiking up like that, because th there's something going on, clearly something going on. And the United States tripled in 2020. Why do you think that is? You think more people were suddenly trans, or do you think more content creators were talking about how cool it was, and how um how based it was that people were getting these surgeries by the way there's also the lie about people who want to self-terminate and so they get these surgeries however the data says that after surgery it has no effect in their uh chance of you know surviving on this planet we can also talk about this is one thing that he i would like to refute here are some of the key points of this study which he can go read from the jama network right this is something that this is a cohort of studies of 48,019 patients gas increased significantly tripling from 2016 to 2019 surgeries a top surgery was the most common class of procedures performed overall and then obviously the the big turn your audio into an any you know that's less common this is something that you know obviously you have a lot of these procedures going on that he just simply does not believe you know yeah. that he... or maybe he's not aware of it uh simple as that gotta give him the benefit of the doubt but i'm glad he's uh coming back to it i hope he's genuinely learning and growing from this because him saying that is just insane because uh, a lot of his audience is also kids watching so yeah you gotta be very very mindful let me know your thoughts on the story guys check out this video on the screen because what happened with mr beast is ludicrous right now this video came out about mr beast i'm not sure if you guys seen it or not if you've seen it good but if you have not check it out and i'll see you right there